Yes, that also is a Porsche. However, it certainly isn't a sports car and it wasn't even built in Zuffenhausen, but in Friedrichshafen. Ferdinand Porsche, the designer of the Auto Union race car and the VW Beetle, gets the following order from Hitler. To design a small, cheap tractor, so to speak, a people's tractor. During the war, this isn't turned into a tractor for all, and neither is the KDF car. Porsche's plans are only realized after the war. Initially, the company produces Algaia tractors under license. In 1954, the Porsche diesel GmbH was founded on the roof of Mannesmann, and in 1957, they had their own factory in Friedrichshafen. Four models run on diesel Porsche off the line. The smallest is our junior with only one cylinder. In 1963, the last Porsche tractor, but also the first 911 came off the line. And today, both are highly sought after and very expensive. But which is more fun? This 911 e targer is approved in 1969. He gets 140 horsepower from two liters. Today, the original version with chrome bumpers is in great demand. With 140 horsepower, our Porsche doesn't tear up the asphalt, but dedicated driving is needed. Especially the early 911 show with their simplicity how this car came to be an icon. And the classic tractor has a growing fan base, and the brand name sounds just as full of promise here as the sports car. Once they've had this driving experience of sitting in a Porsche diesel, they will always be coming back for more. It is also an attention seeker. People are incredibly happy and, and friendly when they see one. We sometimes take trips and it's amazing how many people wave to you. It's better than if you drive in an open Ferrari and the people turn away because, mm, well, they're jealous. This little junior was restored in a sheltered workshop by women. They worked with um, the utmost care and dedication on the tractor, and that shows. During the restoration, they also developed their own personality as they won a lot of recognition from lots and lots of people. The media became interested, and um, they could see pictures of themselves and came to me and they would say, look, I polished this by hand. Its condition is impressive, but how does the tractor perform in the field? With three gears and a differential lock, it should have no problems, even despite the meager 12 horsepower. All the traction is on the two huge rear wheels and the two giant rear tires are responsible for doing most of the work. So the junior plows through the sand with amazing confidence, where even Porsche Cayenne boasting 400 horsepower would have to surrender. The weakest Porsche of all times would obviously have difficulties on steep hills. No low ratio gearbox and no differential lock either would get him up here. Of course, there is also a version of the Porsche diesel that has more power. Up to 50 horsepower and four cylinders were available to the farmers if they had to manage many acres. Whether they had enough money for the Porsche 911? Probably not, because also in the 60s, Porsche was apart from its agricultural products, a very pricey car, and has remained so until today. This 911 e Targa has a market value of about 50,000 euros, and the Targa in the late 60s was the only convertible model of the 911. There wouldn't be another real Porsche convertible until the end of 1982. Only specialists should be trusted with a six-cylinder boxer engine with a joyous drinking Bosch fuel injection pump plunger. The truck is substantially simpler. Its air-cooled single-cylinder diesel can be maintained as easily as a bicycle. 
and once the cuddly hood is open, the mechanic has plenty of room to work. Two Porsche classics that give great pleasure in their own way. One quick and agile, and the other goes so slowly that the day seems endless, and the engine hour indicated is even more visible. And because time is considered to be the greatest luxury, it's nice that on the red Porsche, time stops. You can get a roadworthy Porsche Diesel Junior starting from about 5,000 euros. The fun is guaranteed and the tractor driver can be assured of the sympathies of other people. So it doesn't always have to be a 911, or does it? <laughs>